like a great event. Hopefully some of you guys can uh, attend and support. There is a live look out there, Edinburgh, where I'm actually starting to see a little bit of clearing. Heading into this afternoon, I think we will see mostly sunny skies. Right now, what I'm trying to determine is if we have a couple of sprinkles out there. This looks to be ground clutter, what you see. It's remember when the radar is looking out into the atmosphere and they think that there's other things that they're saying, hey, that's rain, and really it's not rain. What I am seeing is some of these little tiny green dots in here could actually be some sort of mist sprinkles that are kind of pushing up on through. However, they're so few and far between, and whatever it is is so light that we'll be monitoring this afternoon afternoon. Most of us are going to stay dry. 93 for the high today. Again, clearing skies heading into this afternoon. Winds from the southeast. We could see a couple of 20 to 25 mile per hour wind gusts, but I'm not calling today windy by any means. 79 for South Pottery Island. We are looking at that high rip current risk, so not a great day to be swimming. And in fact, it's going to be much better if you stay on the shore there and not get into the water. It's not safe to do so. Also monitoring that poor air quality. We're in that unhealthy range again. In fact, I'm seeing some pink and red colors for those coastal areas, which is further along in that unhealthy range, further inland, closer to that moderate level. But overall today, we're forecast to have that unhealthy for sensitive groups range there. So if you do suffer from some sort of respiratory condition, not going to be a good idea to spend prolonged uh, time outside today, especially by doing any sort of activity to kind of get you needing to breathe heavily, right? This evening, we do have a chance to see showers and even some isolated storms. Now, a lot of these might not actually make it all the way further into the valley. Upper Valley most at risk of seeing any strong storms, of course, but it looks like by around midnight we'll see those rain chances go back down and tomorrow I do have a set of 20% chance for rain, but right now things are actually looking pretty slim, so we might actually wake up tomorrow and you'll tune back in and I'll say hey, it looks like we might not get actually any rain today. It is going to be warm tomorrow, though, and then going into Wednesday, we'll wake up in the 70s again. So very warm and very humid for the rest of this week. For a severe weather threat tonight, most of us are in that general thunderstorms risk, but we are seeing that marginal risk stretching down into Star County and northern Hidalgo. And then tomorrow night as well, we're still in that general thunderstorms category again. Not a huge cause for concern. It just means that it's going to be best if you download the Valley Storm Team app so you can stick with everything going on over the next couple of days, including these evening rain chances. Really, though, the bigger story during the day for the next few days will just be the heat, the humidity, and then we'll have better rain chances this weekend.